So um, Dearborn Drone Co. came down and visited the 1st Maker Battalion for two days. Each day was around 14 hours or more. Just solid fun and creativity and finding solutions to unique problems. The first thing that I had was I did not like where the antenna was positioned on this aircraft. It was um, this little part that protruded right here was back in this area and this is where I wanted to put the SMA antenna. So we flipped the top plate to shift this forward. This little gap was up front. Um, so when we did that, we noticed that the tabs were were not fitting, allowing us to switch the, the camera plate. So that was a simple solution to something that I needed to, to solve, which was, you know, instead of recreating a new 3D printed part somewhere else, it was gonna take time to, you know, print it out and then test fit and it probably won't work the first time. We just, like I said, just did a little 180 on the top plate and, and solved that problem. The next thing that I had was, I was looking for more uh, accessory area uh, because I had this BEC out the back. There's gonna be a camera up here, a full size body camera that has systems that it needs to support. So we tried to figure out where do we attach to this frame to add some sort of, you mind grabbing this and flipping this upside down? So what we decided was um, we grabbed onto the bottom of this, it's a middle plate technically, because there's a bottom plate. Uh, is this? No, this is technically the bottom plate. So we put mm -hmm. three quarter 20 holes, one in the center, but these two are offset so that we can put this symmetrical uh, on this multi-plate here. I'll let you do that because it's hard to do that. So this multi-plate is fixed, um, hard mounted. There is no flex that would hit the gyro. And this gives us multiple mounting points, configurations. You can put a pistol grip underneath it. That was a very unique, unique solution. We'll show that in just a second. But this um, is something that I don't really see happening in the center lifter space because we're so used to carbon fiber and 3D printed solutions uh, for all of our electronics. Obviously, um, weight is an issue when we start getting into these things, but as these drones get bigger, the, the, the buffer for what you can allow for overweight, uh, kind of you get a little bit more margins with these bigger aircraft. So uh, we're trying different solutions like these multi-plates that have um, bulkier, bigger hardware to support and be stronger. I mean, this is, I mean, yeah, I mean, I can, this is rock solid. Like you wouldn't be able to do that with a 3D printed part. So uh, that was the solution, uh, multiple solutions. I think we had three goals for this one and we accomplished all three with that. Uh, this was the next very unique drone that um, we have a project coming up where we would like to try boar hunting with a drone. So we came up with this crossbow tip bolt solution that was mounted to the top of a 533 um, switchback racer. Most of the drone pilots in the racing scene run this frame. So this little acrylic, um, what is this technically called? Is it? Polycarbonate, half, po inch, half inch thick polycarbonate. Half inch thick polycarbonate. Um, we designed, we just copied the top plate, found the, the, the holes for the standoffs. We added a little quarter 20 hole there. So if you wanted to thread on a 360 camera on top, you could just by, just by removing these. These are removable. I'll let you do that. So you could pull the top plate off, thread a hole, um, mount a camera and put the top plate back on and that's fixed. And so these solutions are like, um, not one, like a, not a one-time use drone, but we see the ability to buy something off the shelf, put a tip, cut the spear, sand it a little bit, a little bit of tape around this, shove it in the hole and it's like a, a loadable boat, bolt drone that you can then go hunt with is the uh, the idea behind this. So that was a really unique solution. The thing that I was thinking of was a typical 3D printed horn right here where the spear screwed in. So my mind was thinking 3D print only because that's the space that I live in and came up with a unique solution there. And the, the, the power to weight ratio of this thing, that this will not affect the flight at all. This is very little weight here. The um, Last thing that we worked on, but started sooner than uh, this um, this past two days, was this Merica 
10 inch drone that I had the idea of adding Picatinny rails to the sides because I wanted to add some tac tactical, you know, lasers, lights, maybe some other, you know, interesting things to the sides of these rails uh, because this drone has such a big payload. I mean, this is a cine lifter basically with no camera. So think about what you could put on here and still fly and be acrobatic. So um, this, another quarter 20 multi-plate mounting solution that gives you just options, multiple options. You have through holes, threaded holes. This is a Picatinny rail that we tapped so that we could put on here. So if you hold it like to where I could see it a little bit like this, I mean, any Picatinny attachment, just clink, attach. I mean, that's hard mounted. Now this is the same material um, that we use for the, the bolt drone. And this is for prototyping purposes, uh, but you can see that even as this weaker material is still usable. I mean, this is still, this is still sturdy. You know I mean? You're not in flight. This is not going to flex that much. So still a usable part with multiple mounting options. One of the unique things I was thinking of was two 360 cameras mounted at the front of these arms, capturing this forward flight stereoscopic 3D with 360 cameras down on the bottom. That was the idea that Sean came up with. I had this idea for the Picatinny rails. So in, I wanna say a short, it seems short, but it was actually a lot of hours, <laughs> two days, we accomplished all these projects. So thankful, very thankful for Sean and his son Isaac. So there's another part that we didn't show because this drone is currently in uh, the building stage, uh, but I was worried about the ESCs that were on the arm. So this is an, an uh, electronic speedy controller mount for the Shen Drones Swole. It's a 10 inch X8 drone. That's a heavy lift drone technically that um, it's gonna, the intent is for it to be a dual operator carrying a Ronin RS2 and a cinema camera. So these speed controllers, we modified this uh, to have more quarter 20 holes, and I'll show a little bit more about that later, but this was one project that I didn't want to forget that we also got accomplished within this two days of spending time with the first maker battalion down in Slidell, Louisiana. And it was an amazing couple of days, so I really appreciate their hospitality and inviting me into their home and letting me experience the, the maker space life of what it would be like to be in a, a battalion of people that share the same values and have a similar goal in life, but also just want to, you know, help someone make something cool. So it was a lot of fun down here and you'll see more about this later.